Hey guys, I'm Mike from On Point Crafts, and today we're going to do another 110 inside strategy, but this time we're going to press before we regress. Hey guys, welcome back to the On Point Crafts table. In today's video, we're going to go over another 110 inside strategy. Uh, but unlike uh, the last video where we did a regression, this time we're going to press first before we regress. Now, this strategy was explained to me by Jeff at Mid-Atlantic Crafts. Uh, this is the strategy that he used when we went to Atlantic City. Uh, he walked away with some significant winnings. Uh, he, he talked me through it, asked me if I saw that that's how he was betting. Um, I did kind of notice it later, but wasn't sure exactly what he was doing, so he walked me through it. So I'll talk you through it now, uh, just so you can see how it plays, um, because we don't know what's going to happen when, when I do the rollout. The dice may not go our way, and you cannot actually see how the progression works. Uh, so anyway, we start with 110 inside. We're going to wait for a point to be established. Once it happens, we're looking for one hit on the inside. So if any of those inside numbers hit, it pays you 35. We're going to go ahead and drop the dealer $9.00 and tell them to press us up uh, another 44 inside. So we'll go ahead and change this green for five reds. And you'll see, press this by 10, press this by 12, press that by 12, press that by 10. So now um, we've invested $119 into this as opposed to the 110 using uh, the winnings to press us up. Now, where this is significant is that each one of these will pay us uh, $49 uh, or 50 for one. So you're looking for two hits on those box numbers. So if that happens, you know, say we hit the five, it'll pay us 50 for one. We'll go ahead and rack that. Hits again, 50 for one. Go ahead and rack that. And then we're going to regress. At this point, we're going to tell the dealer, you know, bring us down or bring us down to 66 inside. However it works, um, I'm just going to take all the chips down so I can see it because I am not a professional dealer and I can't move as quickly as they can. So we're going to go to 66 inside. And as you'll see, This is 100, 200, 300. That's our starting bankroll. And we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 66, 67. I think that's right. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65. Yep, 67 dollars. Um, plus what we have out here. If we were actually pull this down, we're at over well over $100, which is way over our um, win goal of 20%. So from here, um, it's just it's a press, um, and do it however uh, you'd like to do it. If the table's hot. You could just press everyone, press everyone until you get back to paying 50 for one. I, even when I get to this point, like to do a collect and then press uh, until I get back up uh, to getting paid the 50 for one, and then I take two hits and regress back down. So we'll play this out, see how it works. Um, hopefully we'll have some goal, some rolls that will be cooperative, and you can see how it plays out. So there's 100, 200, we need 90, 20, 40, 60, <laughs> 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 70, 80, 90 in red. I'm looking for 10 in white. So there's a 10 in white. And we are ready to go. So we're not working the come out roll at all. We're looking to establish a point. Dice are out. And there's a 2 1 3. Three craps. It's a three craps. Coming out. And there's a pair of aces. That's a two craps. So we're hitting the horn numbers. Place her out. And there's a come out seven. That's a front line winner. So we had two pass line losers and a pass line winner. 
Dice are out. Still looking for a point. There's a 12 Midnight. It's another front line loser. Push on the don't. Dice are out. Eight. Eight. Easy. Six, two, eight. Finally hit a point. Point is eight. Going to go ahead and go 110 inside. Now we're just looking for one hit and then we're going to press. Dice are out. And there is a 325. It's a no field five. Again, that pays 35. Well, we're going to go ahead and give us some five reds. So there's 35. We're going to go ahead and drop $9. You press this up to 35 and 42. So 5 and 9 at 35, 6 and 8 at 42. Now we're looking for two hits. Dice are out. And there's a 9, neater 9, 6, 3, 9. That's going to pay us 50 for 1. Go ahead and rack that. Looking for one more of them, and then we'll regress down. Dice are out. But we don't get it. That is a five, two, seven, seven out. So we didn't get to see the whole strategy play out. That's okay. We still got money on a rack. We did hit it once, so that gives us a little to play with. Um, the risk with this strategy, obviously, with only three hundred dollars, is um, you really only get two hit or two attempts at it, um, unless you hit. But if you seven out right away, like a PSO. Um, you get two hits and then you're left with whatever you have and you can try to work a different strategy, but we have enough to play. So we're going to play. Let's see what happens. New shooter coming out. And there's a five, one, six, six easy. That will be the point. So again, one ten inside. Looking for a hit, and then we're going to press. Dice are out. And there is a 6 4 10. That's a 10 on the end. It doesn't help us. Dice are out. There's a 1 1 pair of aces. Two craps. Dice are out. And there is a 6 3 9. Mean or 9. Again, that pays us our 35. Um, I'll go ahead and rack this green and give us 25 of our own. There's those 25, plus we want to give the dealer 9. And go ahead and press this up. So we're good to go, looking at 50 for a 1. Dice are out. And there's a 246, the lumber, 2 by 4 6 easy. That's going to pay us 50 for 1. Uh, the next one's going to have to pay us 49. Because we don't have any more white chips. But that's the way we play. Looking for one more hit. Let's go. Dice are out. It's a 2 one, 3 3 craps. Looking for those inside numbers. Dice are out. And there's another two, one, three, three craps. Ugh. Rolled. It's another three craps. Two, one, three. Trying to keep my dice in the camera. Dice are out. And there's a square pair. Heart eight. Four, four. That's going to pay us 49. Forty nine. We're just going to go ahead and rack that and tell the dealer, bring us all down, take us to 66 inside. So I'll go ahead and set that up. So we're close to having our starting bankroll after that. So it worked. So at this point, I'm going to do a collect and press. I'm going to do one collect and then one full press each time. Dice are out. Two, one, three. Another three craps. Dice are out. 
426, the lumber, 2x4. That is the point. I hope we hadn't hit the point earlier and I missed it, but uh, that is the point this time. 18 is going to pay us 21. And we're just going to go ahead and rack that. The next time we'll do a full press. We are following the puck, so we'll be off on the come out. Place her out. And there is a 549. No field. Sorry, center field 9, 549. Center field 9. Mark it. All right. We've hit once. We're looking to press this time. Dice are out. And there's a hard 6, a 3-3-6. Three, three, that will pay us 21. We're going to go ahead and drop a dollar and press these all. So now we're at 20 on the 5 and 9, 24 on the 6 and 8. Place her out. And there's a 6 easy, 5, 1, 6. Uh, 24 on the 6 pays 28. That's 28. Go ahead and rack it. The next time we'll do a full press. Place her out. But we seven out, so we don't get there. It all comes down. But we're sitting pretty good. Uh, we made made some of our bankroll back. We'll run this through one more time and see how it plays out. So we're looking at shooter number three here. See where, how we stand after three shooters. We had a mild winner. Um, didn't get us through the cycle. Then we got through the cycle and halfway through pressing back up. Let's see if we can get it through a full cycle here. Dice are out. And there's a nine, neener nine. It's a five, four, nine. Mark it. Again, one ten inside. Looking for that one hit. Dice are out. And they're back on the nine. It's a six, three, nine this time. But it does pay us 35. Ten, 10, 20, 30. There's that 35 that we won. We'll drop another nine. Tell the dealer to press us up 44 inside. We foul on the puck. We are off. Dice are out. Point is going to be a four. That's a hard four. Two, two, ballerina. Looking for two inside hits here. Dice are out. Ooh, right back on the point. Two, two, hard four. Coming out. We're on the eight this time. It's an eight easy. Six, two, eight. Looking for two hits. Dice are out. And there's a nine, five, four, nine. Let's get this here without rolling it. Five, four, nine. It's going to pay us 50 for one. It's our last dollar. That's fine. Looking for one more hit. Dice are out. That's a 12 midnight. All the dots and all the spots. 12 craps. Dice are out. And we sevened out. 617. Big Red came at the worst time. Came at the worst time. It always does, right? We have enough in our rack. We can run through this again. Um, that was a pretty short roll. Not sure how long the video is right now. Let's see where we stand. 1, 2, 50, 10, 25. So we're down $25. So right now we're at a net loss. Let's see if we can bring it back with this last roller. I know I said the last roller was the last roller, but let's see what happens. We got money in our bankroll. Let's go. Dice are out. It's eight easy, five, three, eight. The point will be eight. We'll mark the eight. 
And again, 110 inside. Place her out. 426, the lumber, two by four. Pays us 35, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. We don't have um, any weights, so we'll drop $10. They're going to give us a dollar back. Press this 44. Bankroll's looking slim. We need these hits. Looking for two hits here. Dice are out. There's a six. Easy. Five, one, six. Again, that will pay 50 for one. Let's get this back. One more hit. Dice are out. Pair of aces. Aces in both places. Two craps. Dice are out. And there's a hard 10, Puppy Paws. Outside number is not helping us. Picks are out. Big Red, rear its head, five, two, seven. So we didn't get through this progression again. So, random shooting, not doing too well. On Atlantic City, we had people trying to influence the dice and Got some significant winnings, winnings running a strategy like that. So I think that was five shooters, four or five shooters. We got $200, $205. Go ahead and tip the dealers five. You're, you're down $100. So this time around, strategy didn't play out. But that's okay. Uh, just goes to show you on this channel, I'm not trying to rig the dice rolls. Uh, what you see is what you get. Sometimes the strategies win. Sometimes they don't. Um, maybe we'll roll this out another time. See how it works. If you got questions on the strategy, please feel free to comment below. Um, I'll try to answer any questions in case you didn't understand how the strategy worked. Um, but hopefully uh, you see that it can have merit, especially if you have uh, some shooters that may get some long rolls because they're uh, trying some dice influencing. Um, let me know what you think. I kind of like it. I'm going to play around with it some more. Hopefully you'll try it out and I'll see you on the casino floor.